Hello. Thank you for joining me today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave me a comment if you enjoy my videos. Welcome to Nomad's Land Studios. Narrations by Rebecca. From Aesop's Fables, The Sick Stag. A stag had fallen sick. He had just strength enough to gather some food and find a quiet clearing in the woods where he lay down to wait until his strength should return. The animals heard about the stag's illness and came to ask after his health. Of course, they were all hungry and helped themselves freely to the stag's food. And as you would expect, the stag soon starved to death. Moral, goodwill is worth nothing unless it is accompanied by good acts. The Quack Toad An old toad once informed all his neighbors that he was a learned doctor. In fact, he could cure anything. The fox heard the news and hurried to see the toad. He looked the toad over very carefully. Mr. Toad, he said, I've been told that you can cure anything, but just take a look at yourself and then try some of your own medicine. If you can cure yourself of that blotchy skin and that rheumatic gait, someone might believe you. Otherwise, I should advise you to try some other profession. Moral. Those who would mend others should first mend themselves. The Spendthrift and the Swallow A young fellow, who was very popular among his boon companions as a good spender, quickly wasted his fortune trying to live up to his reputation. Then one fine day in early spring, he found himself with not a penny left and no property save the clothes he wore. He was to meet some jolly young men that morning, and he was at his wit's end how to get enough money to keep up appearances. Just then a swallow flew by, twittering merrily, and the young man, thinking summer had come, hastened off to a clothes dealer, to whom he sold all the clothes he wore, down to his very tunic. A few days later a change in weather brought a severe frost, and the poor swallow and that foolish young man in his light tunic, and with his arms and knees bare, could scarcely keep life in their shivering bodies. Moral: One swallow does not make a summer. The Fighting Bulls and the Frog Two bulls were fighting furiously in a field, at one side of which was a marsh. An old frog living in the marsh trembled as he watched the fierce battle. What are you afraid of? asked a young frog. Do you not see, replied the old frog, that the bull who is beaten will be driven away from the good forage up there to the reeds of this marsh, and we shall all be trampled into the mud. It turned out as the frog had said. The beaten bull was driven to the marsh, where his great hoofs crushed the frogs to death. Moral. When the great fall out, the weak must suffer for it. The Dogs and the Hides Some hungry dogs saw a number of hides at the bottom of a stream where the tanner had put them to soak. A fine hide makes an excellent meal for a hungry dog, but the water was deep and the dogs could not reach the hides from the bank. So they held a council and decided that the very best thing to do was to drink up the river. All fell to lapping up the water as fast as they could, but though they drank and drank until one after another all of them had burst with drinking, still, for all their effort, the water in the river remained as high as ever. Moral: Do not try to do impossible things. The Bear and the Bees A bear roaming the woods in search of berries happened on a fallen tree in which a swarm of bees had stored their honey. The bear began to nose around the log very carefully to find out if the bees were at home. Just then one of the swarm came home from the clover field with a load of sweets. Guessing what the bear was after, the bee flew at him, stung him sharply, and then disappeared into the hollow log. The bear lost his temper in an instant, and sprang upon the log tooth and claw to destroy the nest. But this only brought out the whole swarm. The poor bear had to take to his heels, and he was able to save himself only by diving into a pool of water. Moral: 
It is wiser to bear a single injury in silence than to provoke a thousand by flying into a rage. The Mischievous Dog There was once a dog who was so ill-natured and mischievous that his master had to fasten a heavy wooden clog about his neck to keep him from annoying visitors and neighbors. But the dog seemed to be very proud of the clog and dragged it about noisily as if he wished to attract everybody's attention. He was not able to impress anyone. You would be wiser, said an old acquaintance, to keep quietly out of sight with that clog. Do you want everybody to know what a disgraceful and ill-natured dog you are? Moral. Notoriety is not fame.